Hi, this is TechTrix channel and I'm Ellie. Come on board help to manage personal or team plan and projects. They are visual methods that help you and your team to increase transparency and optimize your workflow. Today I'm gonna take you through to create this amazing Kanban board. Okay, let's see. For creating this Kanban board, that when I add a new task on the table, automatically add it to the board, I need two sheets. One sheet for a database and the other for the Kanban board. I need a table in the database sheet with two columns, status and task. For a status, I want to have a drop down list. So on the data tab, I choose data validation. This pop up window will open. Now for criteria, I select a list of items and enter the status and separate them with a comma. I type 5 status backlog, in progress, testing to do and done. I prefer to reject the input and save it. All right, I have drop down list in this cell and when I open it, I have five options. Now I wanna have this drop down list for the status column up to cells 100. So I select the cells and press Ctrl D to copy the list. Now I enter some tasks. Okay, I added some tasks. Now I want to give each status specific color. For example, when I choose backlog, the entire row becomes yellow and so on. Let's do it. I use conditional formatting. So on the format tab, conditional formatting. This pen will open. Now on the single color tab, I select the table for the range. Now for format rules, I open the drop down list and choose custom formula is. Okay, on the value or formula box, I enter the formula. So when the A2 cell, which I fix it with a dollar sign, is equal to backlog, in quotations, make the entire row yellow and done. Now I do the same for other status and give them specific colors. All right, the table is finished. Let's create the Kanban board. I have five status, so I make a table with five columns and two rows. I give the header and the exact color of each status. I prefer to turn off the grid lines either. Now it's time to type a formula that automatically displays tasks in one of these cards when I add a task with the database sheet. This formula is the combination of text join and if function. So equal sign, text join, open parenthesis. I wanna have all tasks that have backlog status in the backlog card and separate them from each other with alt enter. I need alt interaction for the delimiter, so I use Character 10. True. Now for joining the text, I need an if formula. So if, open parenthesis, a column with the dollar sign is equal to this cell, display column B with the dollar sign, otherwise, Display nothing. Now close parentheses. 
Now I press Ctrl Shift Enter to make an array formula. As you can see, the task is displayed on the card. Now I copy the formula for the next column and change the cell reference. I do the same for other cards. Now if I add a new task to the database, it will automatically display in the related card. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of videos, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. Please check my Google Sheets playlist, you will find more valuable videos. Thanks for watching, have a good time.